Welcome to Paris, Ontario for the Worst Food Review channel on YouTube's July 4th special. Paris is said to be the prettiest town in Ontario. But you hear that a lot about small towns here. But without a doubt, Paris is a very special place. We could talk a bunch about Paris. But that's not what we are here for today. Today, we have a very special guest. So let's start with this. Quite frankly, he's a fat man. All the experts agree on this. This just in from our legal department. The section in the Actors Guild bylaws that govern voiceover states convicted felons are ineligible for patriotic film projects. Sorry, Donnie. Today we are at Camp 31, a true, authentic, multi-award winning Alabama barbecue joint that you can easily drive to in southwestern Ontario. But it's not only our neighbor to the South's most important holiday. It's our contest winner video. But before we meet Cactus Jack, let's join Dave inside Camp 31. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can I place an order for takeout? Excellent. Do you know what you're after yet? Oh, yeah. yeah? Oh, okay. I got it all figured out. All right. Here you go. All right. No matter how big and bad you are. I'm ready. Uh, the backside special? Yep. Whoa there, big fella. Don't let the cat out of the bag just yet. How about a little music? Welcome back, Dave Eats. Happy 4th of July. We're at Camp 31 Barbecue in Paris, Ontario. Of course, you'll probably recognize Big B. Brandon is next to me here to my left. Yeah, that's my left. Hello. To my left. But to my right is our contest winner, Matteo. Matteo, thanks for picking such a wonderful place. Thank you for having me. Now, what made you pick out Camp 31? Uh, well, Camp 31, you know, it's, uh, it's a great barbecue place. It's, uh, it's really good. Uh, like it's just it really takes you down to the traditional smoke you know you get the, the pure American especially for the 4th of July 4th of July yeah right. it gives you the 4th American vibes and uh, it's really good like the meats always great and uh, I've never had a bad experience here oh, uh, the food's here, here you go. awesome there's more Man. And there's some sauces oh nice <laughs> beautiful there you go guys thank you very much can't wait to try it we You're really welcome. great thank you Okay, well, we, we got a, I ordered a lot of food, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm taking these sauces. I don't care what they say. If you want these back, they ain't getting them. <laughs> well, should we just go ahead and start opening this up and maybe I'll... All right, so let's find out what we got and then we'll just start digging in. Man, it just... Okay, that one we gotta look... That one we'll look at. We'll look at this one first. These are wings. Um, smoked wings. You can see the marks on them. Beautiful. That's their Camp 31 sauce I got on that, so that's your original yeah. sauce, right? Yeah. That's the one I think you got to try, right? Absolutely. This place, I don't know if you know, Camp 31 was founded in uh, 1908. It was uh, founded as a Sawmill General Store, originally in Alabama. And in 1985, 1985, I think they opened up uh, the Camp 31 barbecue. And the Bruton Police Department, because I guess this is in Bruton, Alabama, entered them in a uh, a rib cook-off in Pensacola, Florida, and well, they uh, they won three first place, and they haven't looked back. They've just been doing competitions like crazy. There you go. There's my whole back story on this place. I think that's all of it. 22 Paris Road. I'm not going to talk anymore about it. Let's. Uh, uh, we just went through that, didn't we? Which one? Yeah. Did, we, did we go through everything yet? The wings. No, uh, that's the wings. This one here. Is... We open this one up. This is the ribs, right? Yeah. The ribs. We open. There's two racks in there. Well. Yeah. So this is the. Uh, this has the St. Louis ribs and the baby back. It's a, yeah. it's a half of a uh, rack of each. All these things are around thirty bucks, but you pay a little more if you get premium sides on them. Um, and this is the meat plus three. So we got brisket, pulled pork, um, sausage links. Everything's got uh, beans with it. They're, they're fresh cut fries, even cornbread. God, I'm so excited about this one. 
Okay, what are we gonna start with, boys? Let's get some plates out here. All right. Oh, Lucinda, we only have two sets of cutlery, am I correct? So, we thought we'd do a little thing here where we, uh, somebody's gonna use a Dave Eats cutlery. Okay, all right. So we're gonna draw straws, and the loser has to use a little cutlery, and uh, the other two get to use a dull cutlery. Okay, all right. All right, I'm, I'm last, right? I'll go, I'll go with the middle one. It's pretty long. It's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I get the Dave Eats cutlery. <laughs> I hope my girlfriend can see this, by the way. I'm not the shortest straw this time. <laughs> oh, we got you a bib, didn't we? We did. First time on the show has to wear a bib, and it's a 4th of July bib. Now, unfortunately, I'm not as small as a toddler, but I sure act like one on occasions. Should we just start with cornbread, something simple? Sure. All right. Oh, sorry, I already ate it. Mm. Oh, do you want butter? Yeah, I'll take some butter. Sorry. No problem. I blend that in random. It's moist enough. It's not overly sweet. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. My first Dave Eats review. Let's find out about the cornbread from the new expert. I like it a bit warmer, but this is solid seven, seven and a half. Yeah. No, oh, you're giving numbers. Of course. <laughs> I can't um, just show up flat. I think they're pretty decent. I'm not going to give a number. It, it would have been nicer if it was warm. Yeah, uh, but I think it's fine. Yeah, not perfectly good. Yes, okay. Um, I, I think we should save the ribs for last, don't you agree? Yeah, I think so. Grand finale. Should we have the wings next? Go ahead, take a wing. Are you a flat man or a... I'm a flat for sure. And you? Uh, you know, I used to be more of a drum man, but I think I'm more of a flat man. You turn it, well, I'll have a drum then. Okay, let's go ahead. I mean, they're, they're big. They're good size. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely taste the smoke. Oh yeah. No, I'm doing the white shirt challenge today. This is a <laughs> brand new white polo shirt. Will I be able to wear it again after today? Let's find out. Probably not. <laughs> I think it's good. That's why I put it over mine. I got my white shirt. Oh, that's yet. right. Well, you don't want to get on the Bucky shirt. No, no. I think it's good. I might get a spicier one if I went back, but it's got lots of flavor that. The grill marks, the little char on it's good. Yeah. I think the sauce is right up my alley. I'm not, not a big fan of too spicy, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got to get a Mateo score on everything since we started. <laughs> this was, I mean, like, it was super juicy. It was very it was very well cooked. Um, the sauce is, is as good as I remember. Uh, I'm going to have to give this a solid eight. Solid eight. Solid eight. I can respect that. I can respect that as well. You know, we love to get local chocolate milk. Okay. Are you yeah. guys chocolate milk drinkers? I am. Yeah, I like chocolate milk. All right, so we couldn't find any local chocolate milk. We're drinking Beatrice today. <laughs> Sorry. We did all the whole build up for uh, cool chocolate milk. Let's try the chocolate milk. You got it up, right? Salut. Maybe it's just because I'm familiar with that kind of chocolate milk. It tastes better than most of me. Yeah, I like that. Let's try the sides. We all got coleslaw, right? Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. I'm going to say, for eating cold saw, this pork is almost useless. <laughs> um, it's good. It's creamy. I don't think they're making the dressing. No. But it's fine. It's what you expect. It's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I think that I like a little bit of sweetness to it. I don't mind it when it has vinegar in it, though. Like, I can eat. Yeah. I'm pretty easy to get along with when it comes to cold saw. Unless it's horrible. All right. So... Come on, grab a couple of fries. We gotta try the fry first while we got the side right. here, right? God, these guys are eaters, right? They're taking one fry a piece. They're definitely homemade. Fresh cut fries. They're they're a chunky fry. They're twice. They're, they're you know they're double fried. They're yeah. they're a good fry. They're what you expect. They're what you're gonna want. I've eaten three of them. They're pretty good. So grab a sausage link. Are they the same? They gotta be the same, right? Yeah, they're the same. Okay. Um, grab it and then I'll cut it. Yeah, okay, you grab one. Somebody just cut me a piece off to try. Yep. What do you think? Sure. Now, this is the meat plus three. Now, they also have fried chicken, which they didn't have today. Um, chicken wings, turkey. I almost got turkey. Oh, want me to take this one? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, they almost, I almost got turkey. I love a smoked turkey, but I thought, man, links are really 
they're part of barbecue culture, yeah. right? This is probably, in my opinion, the best thing that they have here. Really it's here, eh? Well, I'm glad we got it. Yeah. Let's, let's try it. I have the shortest straw on this one, if you guys remember. I can taste like the like a niece in it or something. It's got a little bit of that licorice taste to it, right? Yeah. I don't remember that. No? No. That's kind of new. Yeah. Let's get a couple of beans out. So everybody's got a bean Their here. Their beans are good. Are their beans good? Oh, yeah. They got a mixture in there. They're not just a, they're not just a pinto bean, right? No, no. They have uh, kidney, beans. kidney beans. What else is in there? All right. Yeah. I think it's just the two kinds. It's not a bad sauce. It's not bad. Uh, they're fine. They're good. Yeah. I don't need the kidney beans for me, but I'm sure some people you love them. I'm pro kidney bean. Okay, they gotta have three pieces of brisket in here. I'm sure at least grab a brisket. I think so. Yeah. Now, brisk, brisket, you pay more money when you get this, right? Yeah. It's, it's like an upgrade. I'm sure, yeah. For five bucks. This is pretty cold. Is it? Then again, you know, it may have been sitting. For well, we, we've, uh, it's not like we dug right in quickly, right? Yeah. Um, can I see? Can you see that, Lucinda? See the smoke ring? There's a good smoke ring on that. Nice big hunk of fat. It looks awesome. Did you try it? Is it good? No, it's not too bad. It's all right. I think my uh, expectations for brisket is like through the roof once you have uh, Texas, right. Texas barbecue. You expect it just to fall apart when you pick it yeah. up. Yeah. Usually the no. smoke ring is like just a very red. Right. It's just kind of a minor smoke ring. But... You know what we should try with that? That was some sauce, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Applejack bourbon. Raging Cajun. This is the Alabama sauce. This one we had on the, uh, the wings. wings, right? Yeah. And honey mustard sauce. Okay. What's your sauce choice, boys? We're gonna open up three sauces and try them out. Oh, is that a spot? Oh. No. So far, so good. False alarm. <laughs> the no stain challenge is still a go. That's right. <laughs> okay, take a pry out to try your sauce, but this way it'll give us a nice clean try. All right, here you go. You'll have to describe the sauce. Oh, Mateo, yep. what, what was the score on the uh, sausage? Oh, the score on the sausage is probably a seven. It's a safe seven. And the brisket? Brisket's a six. We and got some expectations now. Is there anything so. we missed? What were the beans? Uh, the beans were, the beans were all right. I'm gonna have a fry there. What were the, what was the score? You, come on, you, we started with the score. You, you gotta get the, the score. You put me on the Dave, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, the coleslaw, we'll give, the, we'll give it a six as well. The beans, we'll give it a seven. You're Play pretty hard, eh? Ah, oh, well, you gotta be honest to these people. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Applejack one. Do I have the honey mustard? It's, it's actually pretty good. It's got a little slight bite to it, but it's quite sweet. Yeah, this is really sweet. Is you it? want to try this? This is like... Okay. Really sweet. You gonna try this one over here, Mateo? Yeah, well... Here, I'll grab his plate and pull it over. Alright. <laughs> the that one's good. I like that one. That's quite sweet. Yeah. That one's got a little bit of a kick to it, like just, it, I don't know, it just tastes like just a barbecue sauce to be fair, but... It does. Yeah. It's got... It's like liquid smoke, maybe? Or, maybe. Yeah. Okay, pulled pork, that's the last thing in this box, right? Yeah. God, we're getting so close to the ribs, stick around for the ribs. Okay. I think that's a really good pulled pork. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Really juicy. I think it could be a little bit more smokier, to be honest. But maybe a little more smokier. It's, it's definitely relying on the sauce, but the sauce is good. So Lucinda would say it needs a little more sauce, but all the tables have sauce on them. So, hmm. I think it's fine. Yep. I think everything's been good so far, but I'm here for the ribs. What do you give the pulled pork, by the way? Oh yeah, pulled pork, man. Oh, that's an eight and a half. Eight and a half across the board. I, think I that, score on that one. That's like the greatest pulled pork I've probably had in a very long time. Um, yeah, it, like I had a lot of, you know how you get like the very saucy, like the very 
gummy kind of pulled pork. I think this is this is way better than that. This is what separates Camp Thirty One for sure. Right. These are skin on mash, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely comes in a bag, but I'd say it's a safe seven. Safe seven. Safe seven. A barbecue place has to have a good mac and cheese, don't they? I agree. Yep. That's actually pretty good. Thank you. Kind of tastes like the the PC one that you, the President's Choice one that you kind of put in the oven. But I like it. It's so well, it's better than Kraft Dinner, right? Yeah. Better than KD. Yeah. I think it's all right. Looks like the vet, you know, it's got some cheese melted in there on top of the sauce as well. Yeah. What's your score on it? Uh, I'm still processing it. Like I, maybe like a six to six and a half, six and a half That's at rough. best. It's kind of, it's kind of like uh, it's a taste of like going to one of your aunt's house that you haven't seen in a few years, and then she just pulls this out of the freezer and said, "This is all you're worth," kind of thing. But oh, yeah. so you think it's something that's been around for quite a while, and you know it's got freezer burn, and she just shoved it in the oven and said, "This is what you're getting." <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All I right. Mean, like they've had, they've made it better before. I think we can be honest. With so that. it's it's it has a little bit of love in it, maybe, but really not enough love. Yeah, not enough. Love. Low on the love. It's a decent oh. amount of love. Uh, Average. Almost adequate. Yeah. These are we got a half a rack of St. Louis. So St. Louis are side ribs. Usually they trim them so they're, they don't have that cartilage piece on the bottom, right? Yeah. And a half a rack of baby back. So they say St. Louis ribs are a little more flavorful, but not as fall off the bone. Right. Um, which is which? Any idea? I think the St. Louis ones are, are on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to put it on record as well that uh, Dave is still in the uh, the clean t-shirt challenge, but unfortunately I Oh, failed. look, he's brand new Dave Eats shirt. He's got it. Limited edition. I'm doing it. Let's have a look. It, now it is, it comes away from the bone clean, right? So, you know, they shouldn't be mushy, but they should come away from the bone. That's my thought. Yeah, yeah. I think there should be a little bit of, a little bit of tug yes. from the bone. Now they were put on the grill afterwards. You can tell they got some grill marks on there with yep. some barbecue sauce. Let's take a bite. Yeah, that's St. Louis. It's got some good bark on it here. Mm, it's all right. Oh yeah, especially here. Just look at that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You got a lot of bark on yours. Yeah. Well, they would have to be dynamite. These are what these guys are known for, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. They go around to like rib fest and stuff too. Mm -hmm. I've seen them at the London one a couple times. Yes, I've seen them there as well. Yeah. I'm hoping the baby backs are going to be better. Is my thought. Uh, ribs. I'm going to give it a confident nine. A nine. I'll nine. put it up there. That's a big score. That's a big score. I think they're pretty good though. Oh yeah. As well. But you pay extra for baby backs if you get any of their combos that come with ribs. So these are the ribs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now they're they're 35 bucks a rack maybe, somewhere in that area. Yeah, I think it's like 30 to 35. And that comes with the side. Yeah. Two sides. Alright. Alright. I'll take this guy here. Oh, this looks even better. I'll take this one. And I'll take the other. These are definitely the baby, the back ribs, right? Yep. Yeah, because you can get, you can see there's a bit of the this cartilage here at the end. Oh, so you think these are the, you think these are the side? No, this back or side then? Um, the shorter bones. I'm gonna say they gotta be back ribs. No? Definitely. Yeah. No. Yeah. I can see the pink in there from the smoker. Okay, I'm taking a bite. Yeah. There's lots of bark, right? I think these are the side ribs, don't you? Yeah. You? Yeah. I agree with that, yeah. Um, I think they were as good as the back, maybe back ribs, at least is good. I'd say these these are the best, best They're better. that we had today. Definitely. So don't pay the premium for the baby back. Yeah. $5 extra for baby back ribs, get the side ribs. Well, I think we've tried everything, right? Oh, yeah. Did you give a score? You got to give a score on that uh, side rib, right? Oh, you're right. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna give this a nine three. It's a little bit better. I, you know, these guys, the original guys right here, were a nine, um, and they, they, these guys were just a lot juicier, and uh, they came apart a lot nicer. But yeah, overall, definitely a nine three for sure. Well, I think this place is great. Thanks for having us come here, Mateo. Uh, that's 
this was an awesome stop. There's a bunch of other great places in Paris here to check out, it looks like. Oh, tons. There's cobblestone, there's still waters. Um, those are like the main staples. Right on the river though, like they right look beautiful, the right? Yep. Well, I think that's it. Are we gonna say goodbye? Hit the like button, comment below, subscribe, share. I'm Big D. Big B. I'm mediocre M, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Whether you're on the links or on the trail, look good doing it in a Dave Eats hat. Get your Dave Eats, the worst food review channel on YouTube, hat now only at Bongo's Bongs Gibraltar Weekend Market.